Noah Barley Water Runs Away, a young adult novel by Irish writer John Boyne, presents a modern retelling of the classic fairy tale Pinocchio. The story revolves around eight-year-old Noah, who embarks on a journey to escape troubles at home and seeks to find adventure and meaning in the world. Noah's departure is accompanied by a mix of emotions, as he leaves behind a blend of happy and sad memories. As he travels through fantastical villages, he encounters peculiar and sometimes dark adventures. In one village, picking apples from a tree triggers a bizarre reaction, leading to accusations of a serious crime. In another encounter, a short man frets over a late vet appointment, holding Noah responsible for his cat's life. In his travels, Noah befriends a dachshund and a donkey, who guide him to a toy shop filled with wooden puppets that appear to be alive and whispering among themselves. The elderly puppet maker, the shop's owner, reveals that Noah is the first visitor to set foot in the shop and suggests that perhaps it happened for a reason. Throughout his journey, Noah encounters animated elements, like floorboards that jump and a clock named Alexander, which is tightly wound and personified. The novel delicately weaves magical elements with Noah's search for meaning and purpose. As the tale unfolds, Noah's interactions with the puppet maker and the mysterious happenings around him challenge him to confront his own inner struggles and fears. Noah Barleywater Runs Away is a captivating tale that combines the enchanting with the profound, offering readers an evocative exploration of self-discovery and growth. The door, known as Henry, apologizes to Noah for keeping him waiting, as it had been engrossed in conversation with the clock and lost track of time. The puppet maker, gently curious, encourages Noah to open up about why he ran away from home, suggesting that he might be facing bullying. However, Noah refutes this notion, asserting that he is well-liked, popular, and academically successful. His family is wonderful, and he shares a heartwarming story about his mother's enthusiasm for his achievements, like scoring 450-0000 points in pinball and their shared adventurous spirit with the motto you only live once. While exploring the shop, Noah discovers an intriguing wooden box filled with older puppets, made by the puppet maker's father, Papa, when he was a young boy. These puppets come to life one by one, telling the story of the puppet maker's childhood, accompanied by amusing comments from the shop's furniture, including Henry and Alexander. The puppet maker recounts being bullied by Toby Lovely, a school bully, and how he found solace in running, realizing he was an exceptional athlete. With his running coach, Mr. Wickle, the puppet maker achieved numerous victories in village races and even ran with royalty and in the Olympics. As these stories unfold, they subtly offer clues to the puppet maker's true identity and past. On one occasion, before setting off for another race, the puppet maker's papa asks him to promise to return. The puppet maker, seemingly distracted, responds affirmatively without fully considering the weight of his commitment. While he is away, he receives a letter informing him that Papa is ill, prompting Noah to ask whether he arrived in time to be with him. Upon hearing Noah's question about whether he made it home in time, the puppet maker insists that he can use the word died and admits that he has carried the weight of his broken promise throughout his entire life, unable to regain his former self. As Noah opens up about his own reasons for running away, he reveals that his mother is seriously ill, and he yearns to know the truth about her condition. However, his father refuses to be straightforward, leaving Noah in a whirlwind of anger and frustration. With the guidance of the puppet maker and the living puppets, Noah realizes that he must confront his fears and return home. As he prepares to leave, Noah discovers that the puppet maker's papa was named Geppetto and understands that the old man is trying to recreate his past self through his puppet creations. Readers familiar with the tale of Pinocchio may recognize that the old man is the same puppet who became a real boy. Back at home, Noah's mother finally reveals the truth to him, and they share a touching moment watching the sunrise over the forest. This experience serves as a lasting memory, reminding Noah of his mother every time he sees the sunrise. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.